Good morning, frogs. I hope you guys are staying safe and warm. I was outside earlier and um, was sliding all over my driveway. So I hope you guys are having better luck getting out of your houses than I am getting out of mine. I'm gonna go out after lunch and try to see if I can't chip away on the ice on the driveway because we kind of need to go get cat food. We may not be able to feed the cats past Saturday, so I don't think Bobo and Bruce and Miranda will be too happy if we run out of cat food. So, but anyways, here is our story, Bark George. I love this book. It's about a kind of confused little puppy who doesn't know quite what a dog is supposed to say. So you guys ready? Here we go. Bark George. Here we go. George's mother said, Bark, George. She says, Bark, George. George said, Meow. Mm -hmm. Not sure, frogs, but I don't think dogs meow. No, George, said George's mother. Cats go meow. Dogs go arf. Now, bark, George. George went quack, quack. That's definitely not right. Is it frogs? Dogs don't quack. No, George, said George's mother. Ducks go quack, quack. Dogs go arf. Now bark, George. George went oink. Does that sound right, frogs? No, that kind of sounds like a pig, doesn't it? No, George said, George's mother, pigs go oink, dogs go arf. Now bark, George. George went moo. Uh oh, that doesn't sound right either. You guys see the doctor, the vet? George's mother took George to the vet. I'll soon get to the bottom of this, said the vet. Please bark, George. What do you guys think? Do you think George is gonna bark? George went, meow. Meow, meow. That can't be right. The vet reached inside George and he pulled out a cat. How do you think a cat got into George? Bark again, George said, when, said the vet. George went quack, quack. The vet reached deep down inside and he pulled out a duck. Oh. So now George had, they pulled out a cat and a duck. What do you guys think's next? Do you guys remember? It was a cat, the duck. Hmm. Let's see if you guys remember what's next. Bark again, George said the vet. And George went, oink. <gasps> the vet reached deep down inside and he pulled out a pig. Uh-oh. Bark again, George the vet went. George went moo. The vet put on his longest glove. There he is. And he reached deep inside of George and pulled out, pulled out. <gasps> he reached deep, 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 deep down inside. And what did he pull out, frogs? A mm. oh, cow! He had pulled out a cow. How did a little dog like George have a cat and a duck and a pig and a cow? Okay, guys. The vet asked George, bark, George. There it is. And George went, what do you guys think? He pulled out a cow, a duck, a pig, a cow. Is there anything left inside George, do you think? Mm. 
What do you think? George is finally going to bark like a dog. Let's see. George went, arf, arf. <gasps> that sounds right, doesn't it, frogs? George's mother was so thrilled. She kissed the vet. Oh, look, is George's mom finally happy? And the cat, and the duck, and the pig, and the cow. She's really probably not sure how that all ended up inside of George. On the way home, she went to show George off to everyone in the seats. And she said, bark, George. There they are. They're walking home. And George went, uh-oh. Uh-oh. What do you guys think George says? Is he going to bark like a dog? <gasps> oh, no. Oh, no, frogs. He doesn't bark like a dog. He says, hello. The end. So that was today's little story. I hope you guys enjoyed it. That was one of Ashley's favorite when she was in preschool. And are you guys ready for our, this is going to be a, I think this is a, well, it's going to be a balance challenge, but first we're going to do a little stretching before we get to the balance part of it. So let's come on over to our floor. Okay, here we are. All right, I got to take off my slippers and my socks. Okay, here we go. All right. So this is one of those things that just like, we're gonna do it on both sides of our body. So we're gonna do it twice. We're gonna do it twice on the floor and then we're gonna stand up to see if we can do it standing up. First thing we're gonna do is stretch our legs out long. I'm trying to make sure you guys can see me. Okay, we're gonna stretch our legs out long. Then we're gonna bend one up and cross it over, our, put our ankle on our knee so we make the shape of a figure four. That's our first one. Now we've done it on one side. Now we're going to put our foot down and now we gotta do it on the other side. There we go. We've again made a figure four, figure four. Now that once we've done it sitting down on the ground, we're going to do it standing up. Now, if you need to use a chair or wall to keep your balance, it's important that you keep your balance and you hold on to something if you can't do it just standing still. So here's my chair, I've got my chair right here. So again, we're gonna do it on both sides. So I'm gonna cross this one over here and I'm gonna hold onto my chair if I can't keep my balance. If you can keep your balance, you can put your hands up. But if you can't keep your balance, make sure you're holding onto your chair. Okay, that was one side. Now we have to switch over to the other side. Now we've crossed our leg over again to make the figure four. Again, use a chair, use a wall, use whatever to keep your balance. And if you don't need the chair or the wall, you can raise up your arms. There you go. There's our figure four balance challenge. Remember, start on the floor first. Make sure you practice on the floor and that you know you got your legs in the right position on the floor. Then once you're good on the floor, you come up and you do it standing up. There's our challenge for today. Hope to see you. We will, I will see you guys next week. Bye. Bye.